Hey guys, what's up? I'm Ruth from my host on Click Digest and today we have with us the Xperia XZ1. This is the new flagship from Sony uh, in 2017 and this has been launched in India at 45,000 rupees. We have got our demo unit with us. So in this video, I'm going to unbox this. So I'll give you a features overview highlights of this phone. All the key features are mentioned here and this box is not a retail box. So it is demo only not for sale. So the box that you purchase in the market will have some extra things. This is the bare minimum basic demo box. First thing is that it's a dual SIM phone. Second, it comes with a motion i19 megapixel camera. It comes with a 13 megapixel front facing camera, 5.2 inch FHD display, USB type C, 2700 mAh battery, flagship Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 chipset, 64 GB of internal memory and it is IP68 certified. It also comes with the NFC micro SD support and it also runs Android Oreo 8.0 right out of the box, uh, which is uh, one of the few phones in the market uh, these days which you can buy which run Oreo out of the box. Many of them get uh, Oreo as software update and this is the phone itself. Uh, this is black in color and does look quite classy. Uh, there is some plastic protection over here on the back and it has a very subtle Xperia branding at the back the 19 megapixel motion eye camera NFC and some sensor array here for 3D scanning. On the right side of the phone you get a power wake up key on top of which is the volume rocker and this key also doubles up as a fingerprint scanner. You also get a dedicated camera key on the right hand side of the phone and as you can see here this these very subtle lines are the antenna bands. On top of the phone is secondary mic hole 3.5mm audio port yes this is a flagship and still has 3.5mm audio port. And on this side, you also have some antenna bands uh, towards the top of the phone and in the middle, you have the SIM card trays. And here you get uh, the micro SD card slot. And your SIM card tray is right here. So your SIM one goes here. And this uh, second slot is uh, either for SIM two or micro SD card. So it's a hybrid slot and uh, you can notice this rubber seal around this uh, tray which seals this entire part for water resistance so make sure it is tightly snugly fit uh, otherwise it will compromise the water resistance uh, some more antenna bands down here and on the bottom is the type c charging port and primary microphone hole on the front is the 5.2 inch full high definition display and uh, below and above the display are two speakers so you have dual front firing speakers sony branding on top of the phone a 13 megapixel front facing shooter some sensors here as well let me play back a video for you just to give you an idea of how loud the speakers are some time back we gave you unboxing of the wd blue ssd drive in this video we are going to give you a speed test of the same since we do not have a windows pc which can fit this drive we have put it in an external usb 3 casing and we are testing it on our mac we are using the black magic disk speed checker software so it is quite loud and the front firing speakers are quite good but it is not really up there when it comes to the audio levels that we have heard on some flagships it's not very loud but it's doing well compared to other sony phones that we have tested so far and this is uh, quite a good looking display besides just being 1080p it is uh, among the better ones that you get uh, in the market the color saturation as well as the uh, contrast it is quite good for a display which is just uh, 1080p uh, to say and the back here itself looks quite good without wasting any more time let me show you the camera performance which is the most talked about feature of this phone so this one has got a 19 megapixel sensor and a motion eye camera means that whenever you click a picture it will uh, click three or four shots and will keep the best of it so there are less chances of motion blur and this uh, is the sample shot that we just took from this you also get a 3d scan you get manual mode here in which you get multiple controls including autofocus shutter speed iso exposure compensation and then you have intelligent auto or superior auto 
here you have the video mode which supports up to 4k and here you have uh, the additional modes which includes uh, creative effects sound photo and panorama and gives a very nice uh, rusty retro look to the picture as you can see so there are plenty of uh, modes available let's browse through the 3d scan and find out how well it works so here is a 3d creator with which you can uh, scan faces and objects so let's try and scan this uh, object so there is a tutorial provided here so i have to move the camera around the object to make a 3d scan of it it is quite tricky to understand this and uh, i'll probably spend some more time and uh, do this the samples provided here looks quite uh, promising for example this face scan model as you can see it looks quite good and very detailed and you can also 3d print these things directly using 3d printers so this is probably something that requires a little bit of practice and i'll do that once i watch some tutorial videos apart from that the phone feels quite fluid it has uh, quite good internals uh, considering the price of 45000 rupees the specifications may not look as uh, appealing but looking at the practical aspects of this phone, a sturdy design, uh, a great camera, a good specification setup, water resistance, uh, Sony design, a uh, Sony display. I think uh, people who appreciate Sony's quality and uh, the Android, latest Android operating system would probably gravitate towards this phone and want to buy this one. What are your views? Do you think this phone is worth the price that you are paying for it? If yes, do let us know in the comment section below. If no, then let us know what else could have been better about this phone. Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed watching this quick video, give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below. And for more such videos, stay subscribed. This is your host, Rohit Kurana, signing off. Thanks for watching.